And if you look at the COSAR collaborative study where it was a randomized chemotherapy, uh, adjuvant chemotherapy versus observation in patients with the colorectal cancers. And if you look at the same, you see a definitively overall survival advantage of 4% with a recurrence rate of less than 4%. There was an improvement of a borderline clinical significance, significant reduction in the recurrence rate. Mostly early recurrences tend to occur, and these are more pronounced in the rectum. In colon cancer stage two, there's an 18% reduction in the risk of the death. Then absolute benefit is 3.6%. No benefit is seen in those with the age more than 70 years of age group. And that's how uh, this, the same has been for across the trials. Even in, in a stage two disease, you can see an overall survival advantage of 3% uh, in a long-term subset. And across the risk factors, the, the state has been there. The addition of the oxaliplatin, you could see that if you don't add the five, you only give a five if you look over in combination, that's around uh, an inferior outcome as compared to addition of the uh, oxaliplatin to the same subgroups. Basically, the higher the risk it's there, the tumor perforation is there, bowel obstruction is there, uh, poorly differentiated tumor is there, venous invasion is there, less than 10, 10 lymph nodes were examined. You could see that addition of oxaliplatin does make a difference across the trials the same. And also not in the, only in the recurrence rate, but also in the overall survival, it does have an therapeutic and a clinically important factor to make it to the same. And that's why the adjuvant chemotherapy, it is very important that we should be looking at not only uh, sometimes uh, these are the molecular uh, classifications, as, as I told that these are the various predictive markers for those with an early stage disease where you have a, a questionable benefit of an adjuvant chemotherapy. They give us our exact recurrences uh, and uh, uh, the molecular biology of the disease through a various gene signatures. We have a coloprint colon cancer recurrent assay with 18 gene expression profile, a colon PRS, a 163 gene, prof, uh, gene signature, the gene FX the 6034 uh, probes uh, set signatures, which tends to tell us whether uh, the, the early stage disease has how much is the chances of the recurrence for it and how, what's the benefit of giving a chemotherapy versus the observation in these patients. And they give us a recurrence scores and the higher the recurrence scores are, the, the, mo the more is the chances of the benefit of the chemotherapy and the lower the recurrence score are, the lesser is the chances of the chemotherapy. So patients without high risk features who have an MSI unstable disease, MMR tumors have a favorable prognosis and are not likely to derive benefit uh, from, from the same. We suggest observation alone for these patients. Without, uh, we suggest adjuvant chemotherapy for patients with proficient MMR and a clinical pathological high. Uh, risk features, particularly those with T4 cancers, multiple high risk features. For those patients with a T3 MMR tumors and no high risk clinical pathological status, we use a 12 gene recurrence course uh, as an option because if a, a, if a recurrence score of 21 versus 11% uh, as high or low, respectively corresponding to an estimated 6 versus 3 percent absolute reduction in mortality with the adjuvant treatment decisions. The best approach for the stage 2 patients with MMR is still uncertain, but few data do suggest the addition of the benefit of the chemotherapy based on the high risk features, the median overall condition and the stage. The adjuvant chemotherapy is invariably indicated in a stage 3 and further chemotherapies with any node positive depends upon uh, what regimen you choose, capacitabine, Folfox regimens, and the data is therefore plenty for the same. And the timing, the adjuvant chemotherapy is usually started only after the recovery from the surgery. There is no agreement as to what is the optimal time to initiate the adjuvant chemotherapy, but adjuvant clinical trials typically mandates to start within the six to eight weeks of the completion of the surgery. 
in clinical practice, the, between surgery and initiation, it's always uh, longer than eight weeks because the factors are multifactorial, poor albumin, uh, poor GC condition of the patients, and adverse impact of delaying the chemotherapy has been demonstrated in two meta-analyses. So the, the, the greater is the delay, the higher are the chances of recurrence, and therefore, uh, the higher are the chances of mortality. So it should be started between the six to eight. No definitive duration, but yes, uh, as compared to 12 months of therapy, six to eight months is uh, op uh, an optimal therapy. And across the meta-analysis, there has been a comparison between the three and six months. Some subsets, sub there is the three month is non-inferior, but uh, still the re official recommended regimen includes the six months of the therapy. And the dosing, you have to find out according to the BSA. You have to look at the comorbidities. You have to look at the age. You have to look at the geriatric index. And you have to look at how uh, uh, is the support for the patient for the same. And therefore, you have to plan for the same. And across it, be it the Fox regimen, the Kpox regimen, that's... Uh, 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 that's for the discretion of various factors as how much was the lymph nodes selected, how much was the uh, comorbidities of the patient, how fit is the patient, what's the DPD mutation of the patient. And that's uh, how you uh, play a significant role for it. Uh, so, so we... So, all in all, taken together, uh, there is no role of an adjuvant radiotherapy uh, except for those who have a resectin margin positivity. The post-operative radiotherapy is usually not considered as a routine for a completely resected carcinomas. But whenever the, the margin positivity is there, uh, there are high chances of local and uh, distance failure. And that's why the addition of the radiation is an important factor for it.